Boom. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Happy Sunday to you all, and welcome to another live beer review. So today, we are taking a look at a Big Lebowski-inspired beer, if you haven't noticed by the title already, but I wasn't able to actually fit the name in the title of the video, just because YouTube requires your title of whatever video you're coming up with to be 100 characters long, and unfortunately, this title of this beer is way too long for me able to fit that kind of criteria, so I decided to just call it the white russian inspired milk stout because it's a white it's a white russian inspired milk stout from new image brewing company all the way in arvada colorado and this one is called this is what happens when you find a stranger in the alps <laughs> if you're a fan of the big lebowski you'll definitely love the inspiration behind this one it's a it should be a pretty damn awesome milk stout i'm, I'm a fan of white russians so when it comes to having a white russian inspired milk stout it sounds absolutely delicious. Plus, I'm curious with some of the ingredients they add in here and how it's going to work and all that kind of stuff because it's a, it's a milk stout made with lactose, marshmallow, coffee, vanilla, and heavy cream, which the heavy cream part of it definitely intrigues me because whenever I think of dairy and stuff added into beer and alcohol being involved and all that kind of stuff, I have a problem with possible, what do you, how do you say, like, like curdling, I guess you can say. So... I'm curious if they actually used heavy cream or maybe just like powdered heavy cream flavoring to kind of give a creaminess to it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking this is going to be nice. Very, very creamy. I'm curious what that coffee is going to do there, if it's going to add like the bitterness to it. But yeah, it's supposed to, I'm thinking this is going to be heavy, boozy because this thing comes out at a 10.5% ABV. And yeah, I'm just super excited to drink it just because I'm a fan of the Big Lebowski. That's why I, I purchased this beer just because it's an awesome can art. And then because it's a white Russian milk stout, which just sounds delicious. So I'm ready to drink this guy. I'm ex like I said, I'm expecting really, really like heavy, almost syrupy kind of mouthfeel from this one. Booziness is definitely going to be taken in as a factor as well. But who knows? I want to see if they actually imitated a white Russian pretty well with this one. So let's crack this thing open and see what this thing's like on the nose. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's just, you can kind of get the sweetness, you can kind of get the marshmallow. A little nice little booziness coming through it as well. Yeah, this smells absolutely delicious. So, I'm going to be drinking this out of my Russian River uh, tulip glass this afternoon. Let's see how this thing pours. Oh yeah, this is thick, dark, barely any head to it whatsoever. This just looks like it's going to be a syrupy glass of perfection. <laughs> because that looks awesome oh yeah definitely oh yeah definitely getting a little bit of the more that there's a definitely a sweetness coming through on it as well it smells pretty damn awesome so without further ado let's give this guy a try and see what this thing's all about so cheers everybody happy sunday to you all oh yeah yep that's that's a milk style all right not really much coming on with when it comes to bitterness. A nice syrupy, smooth mouthfeel to it. Definitely getting that coffee note coming in right at the end. Almost getting like the very, very getting similar notes of like chocolate. It's definitely I would say it's not too sweet, which is really, really nice, but it's very, very decadent. And the flavors are Yeah, it's are they're awesome. I love this. is actually really, really delicious, especially something that if you're a fan of milk stouts, this will automatically be a beer that I think you will really enjoy because the booziness isn't per too predominant. You actually get more booziness on the nose than you do when you're tasting it. Yeah, that's delicious. That's absolutely delicious. So let's look here on Untapped. And of course, when we go on to Untapped, we always like to look at similar beers just because I don't think this one is available in rotation right now at the brewery, but. Uh, Untapped does a really cool thing where they show similar beers that may be in the same category or may give you similar flavors to this one as well. So let's look and see what they got here. Uh, we got a couple ones here from the answer. So we got the first one is Stephen Summers Macaroon, which is an Imperial Milk Double Milk Stout coming at 10%. And yeah, that looks 10% ABV. Yeah, look at that. It's just that might be a good similar kind of. I don't know what the Mac might. The macaroon part of it might give that sweetness, so that might be a good similar one. And then we got one here from Angry Chair Brewing called the Barrel Age Adjunct Trail, which is one of their variants of their Adjunct Trail, and it's a 
11% double milk stout. And let's see what else. We got one here from High Branch Brewing Call called Ain't Playin' the Double Stuffed Oreo, which that may be really, really, ooh, that sounds delicious. It's a double milk stout. Definitely lower when it comes to how many people check this one in. Just High, Pran High Branch Brewing is in Concord, North Carolina. And then we got the other one from the answer called the Kwai is the Answer, which is a 12.75% uh, double milk stout. But that one's barrel brandy barrel aged. And then we got the one here from Little College Brew Little Cottage Brewery called the Double Bear Cobra Kai, which is aged in rye whiskey and rum barrels. That sounds delicious, but you're getting cacao nibs, vanilla beans, chocolate coffee. Yeah. So there's a couple of them on here that may give you similar profiles when it comes to this one that's for damn sure so this is gonna be an interesting one to choose i would definitely the, the ain't playing from high branch would definitely be on my list to be similar to this one the seven summers macaroon would be on there i don't know about i'm kind of staying away from the stuff that is barrel aged when it comes to being similar to this just because in my opinion you don't get much of a booziness coming through on this you get more booziness on the nose than you do on the palate so I'm probably going to go with this Ain't Playing Double Stuff Oreo, to be honest, from High Branch. I think that'd be a kind of, you're going to get chocolate notes. There may be a little bit of like coffee kind of flavors in there. I don't know if they added coffee to it. No, it doesn't look like they did, but you're going to get chocolate. You're going to get creaminess from it, getting a little bit of vanilla from it if they're using the, the filling from it as well. So I think this Ain't Playing from High Branch Brewing Co. is definitely going to be pretty similar to this one, even though it's not an alcoholic beverage themed one but you're still definitely going to get a lot of the chocolatey themed flavors and just all that kind of stuff it's not going to be that much of a difference so and let's see what they have for verified locations for this one that's really cool that there's a bunch of places in uh overseas and like europe that it looks like they carry this one as a, a verified location so if you're overseas right now and you're maybe in like around scott like switzerland scotland all of that and you're looking for a verified location that may have this beer near you Take a look on the untapped page to this one just because it's down in the description below if you want to look and see if there's anything near you that you can get this from or maybe get it shipped to you as well. And then the last one we got here, that's one I can actually read. It's a verified location in Colorado Springs, which is called the Coltrane Wine and Spirits in Col Colorado Springs, Colorado. So you may be able to find some of this stuff over there or other beers from New Image over there as well. And yeah, I've been drinking a couple of uh, New Image beers for a while now and they're they're pretty damn good. I've only had a couple IPAs. I don't think I've really experimented with any of their stouts. And for this being my first experience with the stout and it being a milk stout, it's absolutely delicious. Nothing is over over predominant when it comes to the flavors. It's it's sweet, but not too sweet. There's bitterness from the coffee at the very end that kind of balances out the sweetness you get. Not really much booziness on the palate. Of course, like I said, you get more booziness on the nose than you would when you're actually tasting this one. And it's just an absolutely delicious beer. So let's look here on Untapped again. And let's see what they show as a description on this one. So, yeah, it's pretty much going to be what's on the can itself. So it's a white Russian-inspired milk stout with lactose, coffee, vanilla, marshmallow, and heavy cream. And I'm so, I'm really curious how they added that heavy cream into this one. I'm really, really curious to see if that did anything or if it's... I'm surprised how it didn't involve curdling, all that, that kind of stuff. Just because when I think of dairy and alcohol, I think of possible curdling that could happen. And with the ratings here, like I said, it's a 10.5% ABV, so I would not consider this sessionable at all. And let's see here. Let's get back to the page. And with over 1,560 ratings, this one has an average rating of 4.12 out of 5, which is pretty fantastic. Of course, they put a 10 IBU rating on here, which is like the most minimal hop you can do during the boil or anything like that. I don't think they did any dry hopping in this one, but they just add some hops to kind of add bitterness as well to kind of complement the bitterness flavors you're going to most likely get from the coffee. So let's see what other people had to say about this one. I like to check my friends list first to see if anybody on my friends list checked this one in. Of course, we got one here. Uh, my father drank it back in October, and he gave this a 4 out of 5 purchase off Tavor, which is how we got ours. And let's look back at the global rating and see what else we got. Uh, we got a 425 here. Didn't say he looks like he's eating some, what are these? Na looks like some nachos and some wings, and he's enjoying some. He looks like he's having this at a place, what is it? Liberty Brewing Co. So I wonder, okay, they might have this stuff on tap over there. 
No, Liability Brewing Co. Let's see. The, that place is in Greenville, South Carolina. So these guys may be friends of the people at New Image, so they might have this stuff on draft over there just to kind of help them out. And let's see what else we got here. I don't know what the hell this guy said. So luckily Untapped has a nice uh, translate thing for somebody speaking a different language. So this guy gave it a four and a half saying it's just perfect. A very dense, very intense coffee marshmallow syrup with woody notes of vanilla. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm getting much woody notes to it, but definitely the marshmallow and the vanilla are out helping with the sweetness. Of course, the heavy cream's adding creaminess to it. The coffee, like I said, comes in right at the end, which is kind of that balancing point to where it gets rid of the sweetness and it kind of adds that slight bitterness right at the end that just makes this an overall really delicious drinking experience. And let's see what else. We got a 375 here. We got another four and a half. Okay, so this guy actually reviewed this one too, so... Uh, this guy gave it a four and a half purchase off Tavor, and he said coffee, vanilla, and booze can't go wrong. Yum. Reviewed live on twitch.tv brewed for gaming. So if you want to give that guy a follow, him, he might have some interesting stuff over there. Well, it looks like it's a she. Okay. Play us these. Ugh. Don't you hate when that happens? You're about to sneeze and then it just goes away. It's the worst feeling in the world. So it looks like she purchased this off Tavor as well. She gave it a four and a half. Purchased off Tavor, and that looks like an absolutely delicious. She gave a nice little presentation of the can being on top of the glass with the beer in it. And let's see with the other one. Let's do two more. So I have no idea what this guy is saying, but he he purchased this at, what is that, Hoptimo? I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a beer store. It looks like it may be in Germany or something like that but he gave it a 425 and the final one we're going to look at actually let's do two more after this this guy gave it a 275 purchase out Tavor I'm surprised he only gave it that low of a rating I don't know why maybe it's not for him but then the final one we're going to look at here is a 4 out of 5 rating didn't say anything didn't need to but yeah overall pretty damn good ratings on untapped with this guy so yeah I already can kind of have an idea of what kind of ratings I'm going to give this one just because I think it's absolutely delicious so with all that being said, let's start trying to figure out what we're going to be doing on our end over here for ratings and all that kinds of stuff. So we pour the rest of it into the glass. Take a little swig because it's delicious. And let's look at can art. Of course, like I said at the beginning of this review, that the can art is awesome. If you're a fan of the Big Lebowski, you're going to be a really, really big fan of this just because it's Big Lebowski themed. So you got the kind of trippiness from it in his glasses you got like a quote from the movie itself this is what happens when you find a stranger in the alps um have it being a white russian because that was his favorite drink and overall yeah everything about this can art is something that appeals to me i really like new images logo they use it's kind of like abstracty kind of stuff going on there which is really really nice and <laughs> Okay, so that's really cool. I'm surprised I didn't read this. So here's a better description of this beer that kind of gives you an idea and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes there's a man. We don't say a hero because what's a hero? But sometimes there's a man. And sometimes there's a cocktail that a man that man drinks and becomes so synopsis with him that when you hear someone order it, you feel someone fire up their quote machine, white Russians, and the dude go to it together with like German, hop, like German pop music and... Uh, Nihilism. Let's see. Strong men and crying and Walter and handguns. Uh, we wanted to recreate the drink of our favorite slacker here by starting with a milk stout and then adding lactose, marshmallow, coffee, vanilla, and heavy cream to bring our version to life. So sit back, roast a bone, drink up, and be careful, man. There's a beverage here. <laughs> that is awesome. I like that description better than the one on Untap. That's for damn sure. But yeah, the can art of this one is is fantastic. It's just, I'm really, really big fan of this one. Of course, I think this would be one that I'm going to save the label for. But with my final rating on can art being this, give it a, it's definitely wish there might have been a little bit more detail, but I'm going to get a 475 out of 5 for can art. Really, really big fan of this one. So, but it's definitely be one I'm going to save. So let's see. Next, if I would have gotten this beer in a flight at New Image Brewing Company, would I get another one? Absolutely. This is definitely a beer that, let's say you're going out skiing in Colorado and you decide to stop at a brewery afterwards. This is the perfect beer to kind of nice, sweet, decadent kind of milk stout that helps warm you up because it's a higher ABV and it's just absolutely delicious. 
so I would definitely get another one of these if I got in a flight for sure. But with all that being said, what is my final rating on this guy going to be? That's what we're here to find out. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to give it a solid, very, very solid 8.5 out of 10. Really, really do enjoy this one. If you're able to get your hands on this one, if you're a fan of milk stouts, this is definitely what I would suggest picking up because it's it's not too predominant every any kind of aspect. It's it's sweet. It's decadent. It's not too sweet. It's a little bit of a bitterness. So everything you kind of look for when it comes to a stout is in this kind of beer. So I think New Image absolutely nailed this one, knocked it out of the park, of course, and all that kind of stuff. But let's see us what else we got here. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Eight and a half out of ten for final rating. Absolutely delicious. So again, big shout outs to New Image Brewing Company for coming out with this one. I think all the big Lebowski fans out there appreciate having a white Russian themed milk stout. But other than that, let's see. I think that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. So thank you everybody in chat for hanging out. You guys are amazing. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. Also, if you're new, looking to get your hands on anything from New Image Brewing Company, of course, you can hear me spew about these guys all the time. But you can always find their stuff on Tavor. Tavor is a beer subscription slash beer delivery service that delivers to a bunch of suburban areas around the U.S. So if you want to go onto the website, if you want to possibly find stuff from New Image near you, if you haven't gone to your local liquor store or bottle shop and see if they can get it distributed to them, then you can just go to the Tavor's website, create your account, and Tavor will let you know right away if you can get stuff delivered to you from them. So... You'll be able to keep an eye out for a bunch of other beers that drops through Tavor, and you may be able to find some other New Image beers because they might return with this one just because I think it's absolutely delicious. And I can see this one being a highly requested return for the future releases and all that kind of stuff. So other than that, let's see. Uh, if you're on social media, if you're a fan of craft beer and you like being like on an equivalent of Facebook for beer drinkers, there's one place that you need to get yourself over to, and that is untapped it's a fantastic platform you can check in beers get badges see what your friends are drinking all that kind of stuff it's just a really really fun platform of course if you have it if you're on untapped and haven't just shot me a friend request yet link to my profile is down in the description below but yeah the last thing i want to talk about here really quick before we get out of here i kind of have a little bit of announcement because i just got this done this afternoon and i wanted to kind of give everybody an update about this but i started kind of a new way that people could support me of course you see the word patreon being off like offer when it, all kinds of content creators out there all the time and i decided to follow the trend and start up a patreon of my own there's three different tiers you can join when it comes to different services that i'm gonna kind of help support um i'm planning on doing like beer raffles to where if like if you join the join the five dollar tier you have one entry ten dollar tier you get two entries into the raffle and if you join the twenty dollar tier you have three entries into like a monthly four pack raffle that will be raffling off illinois beers illinois breweries to, for people to get their hands on it's a really fun kind of experience that i'm going to try to learn and see what other kind of new stuff i can do when it comes to creating exclusive content for people who decide to join the patreon but yeah i'm excited to see what grows from here i'm hoping that it gets to the point to where i can start coming out with like a little bit of glassware for people koozies coasters all that kind of stuff i have a bunch of things planned just we'll see how that kind of turns out but if you want to support me in a different way uh, Patreon is always an option as well now, so you can go to it's that link to my Patreons down in the description below for you guys if you want to support me in that way. But other than that, that is pretty much what I have for you guys today. So again, thank you everybody in chat for hanging out. You guys are amazing. If you haven't done this already, please hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. And I'm gonna end this like I always end it before we get the hell out of here. If you're gonna drink, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.